Welcome back. People in a Minnesota small town took to social media this week in hopes of finding a stolen dog and the woman who took it. The owners of Gunner, an eight-month-old German Shepherd, didn't know the dog napper committed another crime down the road at the Pearly gas station. Yesterday, I happened to come to the co-op, and they had a drive-off here with the German Shepherd in the back. So I'm going, really? And so here it was the same Monday, it was the same woman that stole the dog. With the dots connected, Hannon and the co-op looked at security footage and posted this screenshot to Facebook and had the car and the woman ID'd within hours. Norman County deputies say they also know who the suspect is, but haven't been able to make contact yet, adding it's still an active investigation to bring Gunner home. If you have any information about the woman in question or Gunner's whereabouts, call the Norman County Sheriff's Office at 218-784-7114. The Steam, Thresh Steam Threshers reunion has uh, been a part of our holiday weekend for years. Giant, noisy, smoke-belching machines are back on Thresherman's Hill at Rolog. This is the 65th year of the celebration and the exhibition of early 1900s agriculture draws thousands into the tiny northwestern muni muni Minnesota community every Labor Day weekend. The machines provide a chance to take a trip back in time and serve as a hands-on history lesson. The focus this year is on the home-built agricultural equipment. Tickets to get in are $12 for the day or $20 for all four days. Children's uh, under 14 are free with a paid adult. Everybody up for the kickoff later on Valley News Live at 6. We'll go live to check out the early tailgaters outside the Fargo Dome. And we are tracking thunderstorms through Wadena County. Still sizable hail will be the main threat for the next 20 to 30 minutes before storms exit. Here, large hail captured by Stacy in Battle Lake and more of that large hail across our region tonight. No hail in the overnight forecast. I'll have the weekend outlook next.